Okay, welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna to be making a Cubic style sample. It's been done a lot, obviously, um, but I feel like I can show my twist on it and show how I do it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I've started off with a with a harp uh, from Contact, Angelic Harp. I've taken all the reverb off it and everything. Um, so, and I've laid out this little pattern. There's two chords the whole thing but I've done different voicings so the first half is lower down and then the second half is higher pitched um, so I'll play that for you now so the effects are added to this uh, a chorus like quite a low light chorus harmonizer brought it down four semitones delay and cassette the delays are ping pong i use this all the time it like goes from side to side it gives good good width to the to the instrument and cassette uh this little preset it makes it wider and i don't know it just has a cool texture that i like underneath that i added this mallet Kind of like a detuned sound uh these cassette mallets they're quite cheap and they're, they're really good they do pianos and like uh keys and they're a whole synth engine as well um so i've brought down the the filter here taking out some of the high frequencies um yeah and i've copied the pattern and it sounds like this only three effects on this one eq Harmonizer again and uh, reverb, like a, a, a soft light reverb. And with the guitar, so once I had the harp and the keys, I knew I wanted to like bounce them to audio, so I did that, and then I reversed them. Um, which sounds like this. Which is already giving like a way cooler sound. Um, I half timed the keys because I wanted to bring them down and make them more in the background. And I EQ'd just some of the lows out. So we're really starting to build on this dark this really dark sound. So after I'd done all that, I still noticed that the uh, harp had lots of high frequencies in, which I didn't really want. So um, rather than cutting them out with EQ, I learned this trick from uh, AJ. He makes videos as well, super fire. He did a Q Beats video, which I, I learned this from. So basically you wanna open up Edison and record your um, guitar into Edison. Once you've done that, um, you're gonna come here, it says sample rate, right click, this will come up. And here, change the sample rate. If you go really low, below like 8,000, it's gonna like take off all the high frequencies, but I chose this 11,025. Click resample, click tempo sync so it keeps the same, the same um, tempo. And then once that's done, click this button here, send to playlist so you've got the audio. And you can hear it. it's a very slight difference, but it does, you know, make quite a lot of difference in the overall sample. Next, I just pitched it down by uh, by three each. So then I bounce them both together into one audio file. That's the keys and the uh, harp. And it sounds like this, I pitched it up by two. I thought, I don't know, I, I want it to be more realistic and obviously you can't play a reverse guitar. So I just reversed it again and made it like it normally would be. And this is what happens when you can, like, when you just reverse things and pitch them and add delays and all this. 
like random things will happen to the audio that sound really cool so like, completely unintentionally um you can hear like the keys reversing at the end into the uh half and stuff like that just little accidental things like that like that turn out super cool after that obviously it won't be a QB sample without a flute um i know loads of people hating on flutes but if you do it right you can definitely you know make them not corny so i've used this ventus uh, ethnic winds ocarina triple ocarina and these are really good because unlike flutes in omnisphere or whatever they have articulations so you can see on the keyboard thing down here at the bottom um, if i click something once so this one flutter bend up etc so it just adds articulations and variations to the sound um, that you can you know pretty much put in wherever you want you can hear here um, it like wobbles so at the bottom there's these notes I've got it on C sharp which is like a normal normal flute but then if I put it up to D sharp it makes it flutter and it gives a cool variation so I've had some simple effects cassette delay EQ reverb um, and it sounds like this with the harp it sounds like this So really after I just wanted to structure it, um, the first section here just has the harp and the keys. Then we've got the, um, the harp, the keys and the flute. And then I've just done a half time section here, which has a part with the flute and without it. So I've just put a half time on the master. So that's like already given the producer that's flipping this, a section for the verses. Um, so this can be your intro and then your hook and then the halftime section for the verses. You know, it just adds that variation. The producer doesn't, doesn't need to do it themselves. You've done it for them, they can drop it in and start flipping it straight away. I've also done a reverse section. So I've literally just reversed it again, um, but I've not chopped the chords. So the, the chords are in a completely different order, which just gives like a B section kind of feel. And then I've done a bass with a decapitator, the mid driver section uh, preset, brought the mix down a little bit just to, you know, make it hit. Um, and that sounds like this. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I'm just going to play the sample now, to be honest, let you guys hear it. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Please subscribe, check out my kits, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.